For me, it's always been looking at everyone with kind of like a blank and open slate. So for me, I, I'm kind of trying to find the good in everyone. And growing up, I wanted to be friends with everyone. It didn't really matter what you looked like. It didn't matter to me. Um, I think that's kind of part of my personality. I went to schools that were uh, very diverse. And going into high school, I didn't even realize that it was, you know, predominantly white necessarily, but it was, it didn't really matter. Um, I kind of was just like, I'm, I'm Carolyn Gill and who are you? And we can be friends considering our, you know, common, what we have in common and things like that. But I think for me, it's really just been initially, you know, you can find the good in everyone. You have a lot to learn. I believe I was in, I don't want to say middle school. It was, I wasn't, it was really young, but just understanding, you know, how, when you, when the police are present, it's yes, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. Keep your hands visible, don't reach, don't make any quick movements. Um, always keep eye contact. Um, let them know that you're listening and that you're trying to cooperate. I just remember one time where we were at a restaurant, we were leaving, and right as we were gonna get on the freeway, I had gotten pulled over and there was like three cop cars. We pull over and I'm telling my, my brother's kind of like getting, you know, anxious. And I'm just like, it's okay, just just breathe. We didn't do anything. Um, so I'm keeping my hands on the steering wheel and I'm just, and he's shining the light really like all in the car. And I asked to turn to get my purse. Um, it's very slow movements and my brother is just so nervous. I give him my license and registration and he says, well, we've had a lot of robberies in the area, but as I was explaining the situation to my parents, it, they said it was just a DWB, driving while black. But it, 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 it's really just kind of, I guess, disheartening um, when people are, are just trying to do their job. But their job entails profiling and maybe a bit of stereotyping and jumping to a conclusion about what something looks like, judging the book by its cover initially, you know. Um, and it caused me to look at myself and just really see that I I'm black. Like, and that's something that's going to, that's the first thing people are gonna see before they even talk to me, before they even know my name. Um, I initially had to just accept myself a bit more. Right. Understand that I am black and be proud of the fact that whatever stereotype they might think they have of you or think of you, you don't fit that. Make it a point not to fit that. I think some of my friends are able, we just have a conversation with them, you just tell them you're not doing anything, yada, yada, yada. Me sharing that it's not that simple um, to them, uh, I think lets them hear a perspective and understand that they're, the way they see the world, though they're, the way they live it, is, is different. For the first time in a long time, I just was so sad. And I really felt alone, just kind of in, and I live with four other teammates, but in that house I felt alone only because I just didn't feel like I can really talk my anger and my frustration and my hatred for the situation. I couldn't talk that out, um, honestly. And I felt alone. Um, I feel like it was just kind of like an overwhelmingness, like, we're still going through this problem. Since Oscar Grant, we're still going through the same problem. Really makes me angry that we're still having the conversation. We're still doing the same thing over and over again. So personally, I, I really felt 
myself kind of get depressed because I couldn't, doesn't matter what petition I sign, you know, it felt like it didn't, I'll sign all the petitions, I'll donate where I can. I went to a couple protests, I was crying. Because it didn't make sense how we were still doing this. It did give me a bit of, you know, comp, you know, not confidence, but just like assurance that okay, people, other, we're, they're hearing us, they're hearing it, they they know it's a problem too. It's not just the black community. It's not just people of color necessarily. Um, so I guess seeing that. Um, was great, but I was also hoping that it wasn't just for the trend. People would take pictures of themselves in protests. I, I'm, I'm just thinking like, this is not a photo op. If you're gonna be here, be in the moment. And I guess for me, it just made me realize that it's so much bigger. This is so much bigger than I thought it was. And I used to think, oh, I'm in California. We're liberal. A bit safer. I'm thank God I'm not in the South and Georgia, Alabama, where it's just like. But no, it's 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 closer than I thought. With the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee, the initiatives we're trying to push out, you know, as a unit, you know, as Big West, uh, we're trying to figure out what different schools are doing. I do want to say um, President Virgie is doing a great job of just how he's trying to not just make it a, you know, a Black Lives Matter issue, but it's just like, we have such a diverse group, not, not group, but just um, community. Let's take a moment to touch on on everything because it's not just although this is the issue now, although this is the you know the problem now, we need to address everything. So I think being a part of the committee allows me to see a lot of the things he's doing and give advice or feedback as far as how how do students take that? How were students you know involved um, with that? Um, but I don't mind being that voice. The chapter of 2020 in the history textbook is going to be crazy long. You, there's really, and if you're writing it correctly, you, it's going to be long. You can't leave anything out. There's too much that's happened. But yeah, it's just trying to be more comfortable in an uncomfortable situation, open and honest when need be, and the delivery of it to where I'm not offending anyone, um, and just being proud of where I come from and who I am. Because that's all I got, that's all I have at the end of the day. I've had instances where I didn't act or I let kind of a joke slide. That was not okay. Well, these are my friends. They might not have understood how bad of a joke or how bad of what they said was. But I also have, you know, my my, my, not even just my culture and my people, but myself. Like, how am I gonna let that joke slide like that, knowing that it's, it, it wasn't okay. Cause I feel like sometimes you have to hold your tongue and sometimes you have to just shout it as loud as you can.